So if you're anything like me, you probably spend an unhealthy amount of time on YouTube. And it recently seems like there's a huge trend going around where a lot of creators are switching to DaVinci Resolve. And just like you, I watched probably all of these different videos, watching these creators break down why they are thinking about making the switch to DaVinci Resolve. Now, I'm not a huge like hype writer unless it has to do with cameras, but when it comes to software, I normally just stick to what I know. I like my editing software, I use it consistently, and I don't tend to try to jump around a lot. However, this new wave of everybody switching over to DaVinci really has me wondering, now that Blackmagic has officially announced DaVinci 18, what is all the hype about? Now look, full transparency, I do have some experience using DaVinci Resolve. I actually edit in it regularly throughout the year. However, it has never been my main number one editor. And the main reason being is the fact that there is such a learning curve. And as far as I'm concerned, there is so much going on in DaVinci Resolve that if I'm being just 100% transparent, I'm honestly overwhelmed and a little intimidated by DaVinci Resolve. Now, the way I've currently worked it into my creative workflow is that I would do most of my editing, my effects, transitions, and all of the hard stuff in another editing platform. And then I would just go into DaVinci to do some minor color grading. Let's face it, DaVinci Resolve is known for its color grading and its color grading tools are fantastic, but I've always been a little weary about doing the entire project inside of Resolve. Well, it looks like DaVinci is trying to fix that for a lot of creators. There has definitely been a huge push recently on doing the entire project inside of Resolve. This goes from the actual pre-editing, the editing, the cutting, transitions, a effects, obviously color grading, but even going as far as doing audio and even some special effects all inside of Resolve. Now, one of the major reasons why I've always considered switching over to Resolve is just because of how easy it is to work with the program because it's available on so many different platforms. I mean, you can find them for desktops, laptops, workstations, even tablets nowadays. So it's time for me to see what is all the hype about, download DaVinci Resolve, and get into it. Now recently Dell sent me out their brand new Precision 7670, which is a part of their professional workstations. This powerhouse of a workstation allows you to have basically a lot of the same benefits of a desktop, but have it in a portable package. So when this new workstation showed up at my office, I knew it was time to unbox it and install DaVinci Resolve. Now, one thing that I did want to do was I wanted to actually install the free version of DaVinci Resolve. See, in the past, I've always had the studio version because I have shot on Blackmagic cameras. And if you don't know, whenever you buy a Blackmagic camera, you get the studio version of Resolve for free. However, I know that a lot of creators who are trying to come up in this world of video production are typically looking for the best bang for your buck and there's no better bang than free. So I wanted to install the free version and see how far that could actually take me. So I wanted to start there, learn it from the inside out and see what I could do with this free version and install that on my new workstation and see what I could pull off. Now with this new workstation, power was definitely not going to be an issue. You know, with the Precision workstations, these are their most powerful computers with the built-in NVIDIA graphics card. In my case, I have the RTX 3000 NVIDIA graphics card, so I wasn't really worried about power. But in order to try to push this computer and see what it could handle, even in this free version of DaVinci, I decided I wanted to edit using my AK Red V Raptor footage. YouTube is kind of my first go-to resource when it comes to trying to learn anything, probably like much of you guys who are watching this here video. And what I found was that there's actually an entire little subsection of YouTube dedicated to just DaVinci Resolve. Sure, there are a lot of big creators talking about switching, but there are a ton of creators out there who are just making educational content solely around DaVinci Resolve. So I spent a lot of time studying these videos and then basically going back and forth, trying to learn new features and new techniques that I could get out of using DaVinci. So the first major change that I realized that I was gonna have to make was my entire workflow. Now at the bottom of DaVinci Resolve, they actually have these different pages. And these different pages actually take you through how DaVinci thinks that you should actually be doing your editing. And if you follow these workflow pages, it actually makes the entire process super easy. So here I have my Dell Precision 7670 pulled up. And when I start going through these different tabs, you can quickly see how DaVinci lays out your editing workflow to make the process simple for you. So for starters, you have your media tab, 
then you have your cut tab, then you go into your editing tab, which is different than cut, which was kind of weird and took me a second to get used to. And then you obviously have your fusion, color, then you have Fairlight, which is where you do all of your audio editing. And then of course you have delivery for exporting your files outside of DaVinci Resolve. Now, while I was going down this rabbit hole, I wanted to edit primarily using mostly 8K red raw files. And the main reason why I wanted to do that was because I really wanted to push not only to the computer, but also this free version of DaVinci. There are gonna be certain things that you can't do on the free version that you could do if you had the paid version. But one thing I was really excited to actually showcase here is that not only, yes, could I import all of my 8K raw files, but I also had the ability to play back those files without any issues or any interruptions right here in DaVinci on this computer. Now, granted, as I mentioned before, this does have a super beefy processor. In fact, this is actually a Intel Core i9 processor, but this thing is able to not only play back all of my footage in full resolution, but it also allows me to edit it and then see those edits in real time so I can start making those adjustments. Now, one thing that I really did like also while doing this editing is dealing with the color grading. Now, the color grading in DaVinci Resolve is very different than any other NLE editor that I've ever worked in. And the main reason being is the fact that it does what is called node coloring. Now that's different than layer-based color grading. This is something that's a little bit difficult, especially when you're first getting into it, but it quickly starts to show some of its major benefits once you start messing around with it. Now, obviously color grading is something that is you either love it or you hate it. And I'll be fully transparent. It's not my favorite part of the editing process. However, with this computer and with this monitor, because it is so bright and so vivid, I actually did enjoy doing a lot of the color grading here, especially pushing and pulling some of these colors when I was messing around with some of this concert footage. Another thing that I liked about this screen was just how bright and vivid it was because this meant that I could actually take the screen outdoors and go and edit in direct sunlight and I could still see my screen. Now, after spending quite a bit of time playing around in DaVinci Resolve 18, the free version, I quickly realized that this probably offers way more than any other free editor out there. If you are someone who is thinking about getting into editing and you're looking for that free piece of software, honestly, I don't know if there is a better free version of a software for you to initially start with. I mean, sure, there are some initial bonuses if you were to go to the paid version, but realistically, everything you need to actually cut a video together and color it and actually make a stellar version of that video is absolutely right here. I mean, you even have effects, transitions, obviously all that great color grading, and then you can deliver those videos out in full 4K. There's really no reason not to at least start with DaVinci Resolve 18. And probably one of the coolest features is the fact that if you did choose to upgrade to the paid version, well, it's just a one-time purchase versus a subscription base like other NLEs, and it's just one time buy, 295, and then literally everything that you've already learned is going to transition into that new paid version. It's not a different software. And now you have the ability to take all of your old projects and migrate them to the new studio version and everything's just gonna work seamlessly. You know, this video is sponsored by Dell and I'm starting to realize that this is actually probably starting to sound like a DaVinci Resolve commercial, which it's definitely not. But personally, I just get asked all the time because I understand that there are creators on different parts of their journey. Some creators who've been doing this for a long time, some creators who are just in their first one or two years. And I'm always asked, what is the best editor to start with? Because picking your editor is one of those things where most of us, once you kind of lock in the editor you're using, you really don't go jumping around to different editors. But if you are someone who's just getting started and you're looking for an awesome free application that you can use, that you can start working in now and actually get a professional output from it, I don't think there's anything else out there like DaVinci Resolve right now. I wanna thank Dell and NVIDIA for sponsoring this video and sending out the Precision 7670 and allowing me to really just go all in on DaVinci Resolve 18 and see exactly what this computer can do. If you wanna check out this computer, definitely check out the links down below in the descriptions. And if you have any questions about this computer or about my process within DaVinci Resolve, leave those down in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.